What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another live trading video. Today, we're taking a look at EURUSD, and I just took a long position. In these videos, I like to share my trades start to finish. Whether they are wins or losses, I'll be sharing them to YouTube. Of course, most people in the YouTube world and in the social media world when it comes to trading, they just want to show off their wins. And whether this trade is a winner or loser, I will be showing it on YouTube to give you some of the inside scoop as to what it looks like to be a real trader uh, in the foreign exchange market. So with that said, I'm going to explain the entry on this trade. I'm going to explain what I'm risking, what I'm looking to do here with this trade, uh, why I took the trade, etc. So let's jump right into the video. Um, so I'm looking at EURUSD on the long side. I've drawn a Fibonacci retracement here from the recent low, I'm looking at the four hour chart by the way, to the recent high. We said that we saw this really strong impulsive move on the Euro, followed by what we see now as sort of this consolidation or pullback zone here on the, uh, the four hour chart. Now, what you'll notice is that we are in this channel. You can see price finding buyers at the bottom, finding sellers at the top. As we come down, I am actually interested in buying, and that's why I just picked up a position on the long side right around here at the 61.8% retracement. Uh, a couple reasons behind that are, well, you have this channel, like I said, I like the idea of buying at the lows of this channel. On top of that, we have the impulsive move followed by a pullback where you can see with this Fibonacci tool, by the way, if you're not familiar with Fibonacci tools, it is a fairly straightforward tool. You basically just draw from the swing low of a big move to the top of a big move, and it will give you three, uh, or depending on what your settings are, some major levels to look out for. The ones that I'm focused on here are the 38.2, the 50%, and the 61.8. So I liked the 61.8 because it also lined up with the bottom of this channel and it lined up with some consolidation slash support here. That's what we call in trading confluence when you have multiple factors lining up in your favor at the same time. Uh, from a technical analysis standpoint, I do like the Euro to the long side. So I'm looking at this. I think that this has potential. Um, I've also placed a stop loss on my trade. I'm risking 25 pips here. This is a swing trade, so this may take some time to play out, uh, but I'm risking 25 pips here to the downside. Should the Euro continue lower, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna walk away quickly with a small loss. I'm risking about $60, not gonna be the end of the world if it does get hit, uh, but if it runs, it may have the potential to turn into a pretty good sized win. So ideally in my case, I think that price, if this trend is going to continue, could find some buying support uh, you know, down at these lows, and maybe we see something like a breakout back to the highs. That's a great, you know, imaginative, hopefully it happens sort of uh, state of mind that I'm in. But the first step for me is to set my risk in case things are completely wrong. Uh, and then from there, my goal is to trail stops. You'll notice I don't have a strict take profit on my trade. Uh, some people will have different opinions than me. I'm not going to sit here on YouTube and say I have everything figured out and I'm the perfect trader. Nah, there's plenty of people who have different trading styles than me, and that's perfectly fine. There are many paths to success, in my opinion. So um, for me, though, I like to trail stops. I like to let trades run. If they're going to win, I'll let them keep winning, and I'll try and trail my stop behind it. So for example, let's just imagine that everything went right in this world, uh, and the euro dollar went up, and I was able to... to put some profit on my trade. What I would do is I would basically trail this stop loss up to break even as price continued. Once we break out of significant resistance, I'd probably look to trail stops again and so on and so forth until the market finally stops me out, right? That's my goal. In the dream scenario, in my best trades, it's basically catching big runners uh, and, and just trailing stops behind price until uh, I am stopped out for a profit. That's what we're looking for. If it happens, great. If it doesn't happen, we will move on and we'll take a small controlled loss. Now, what I'll do is I'll also show you this here uh, real quick. This is our community. So inside of the A1 trading community, you can see all the trades that I am taking. So for example, you could see uh, I just picked up EURUSD here at support, risking 25 pips should price decide to break lower. In terms of a technical analysis standpoint, we already just discussed that. And then from a fundamental analysis standpoint, I said the dollar looks a bit overhyped today in my view, despite strong retail sales numbers. Overall, I'm still bearish on the dollar leading into next week's FOMC meeting after weak jobs numbers and Jerome Powell's recent speech, which was uh, basically him being being pretty dovish on uh, the monetary policy outlook for the United States and hence a, reluct a reluctance to raise rates anytime soon. Shared my trade, shared the picture of the chart that I am taking uh, with an entry, an exit price or a stop loss, uh, and my plans will go further along in the journal. So if I update positions, I'll share them here. So if you're not already in the Discord and you would like to see the trades that I'm taking, there's a link down below in the description. It should be the very first link. You can see coaching webinars, join our chat, meet some of the traders from around the world, 
see the trades being taken by Frank, Patrick, myself, anyone else that is our uh, analyst at the time. And with that said, uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. And once price gets going, I'll give you guys an update as to what's happened on my trade. All right, guys, quick update here on Euro USD. So far, price is starting out in my direction, which is kind of nice. You can see the zone of support that we marked out in the previous uh, video or the previous clip uh, has been holding so far pretty well. Uh, you can see, again, we have that channel that we discussed. Uh, and as we basically tapped into the low of this, you can see we have so far seen a little bit uh, of a response from the bulls. In fact, my entry there on that candle looked pretty dang good in hindsight here. You can see price basically rallied right off of those lows. Uh, and over the London session overnight here uh, for myself, it did end up kind of popping off the lows there nicely. So Currently, the position is up about $50 or so. Uh, it was a little bit more. It made, it, way, it made its way up to about $60 here, uh, maybe actually even a little bit more, $65 or so on the trade. So I am currently still still sitting in here with, with without moving my stop loss. I do plan on moving my stop if we can basically break above where we previously were. Uh, at that point, I would basically go ahead and move this stop loss up to uh, just at break even. Now, the reason I'm not doing it quite yet is because I do think that I want to give this thing a chance in case it does do something like this. It comes all the way back down to my entry. I want to give it a chance to try and double bottom without just stopping out. Uh, so we'll see if that's a mistake or not in the future. But of course, I don't have hindsight on my side with these videos. So again, I'm looking at that 61.8. I do think I've got a pretty decent entry here. Let's see if price can make a push higher from here. Well, well guys, I am all out of the trade. Price did end up dropping all the way back down through my entry point and even stopping me out for a loss of just around $55. So without further ado, I got to kick myself because hindsight is 2020. So we're out of the trade uh, for a loss there. Like I said, price did end up dropping. And of course, in hindsight, I'm sitting here saying, man, I should have closed the trade, right? Uh, the problem is though, when I look at this, I have the the sort of bias of knowing what's already happened. I really did think that the Euro dollar could have very well chopped around for a little bit, a uh, little bit and found support. Now what ended up happening uh, is something that's a little bit out of my control. The S&P 500 came down pretty dang hard. Here's the S&P coming down really hard. So you have a really, really big push today into the dollar with some unexpected news from the Fed basically breaking us through resistance. So obviously this big massive pull to the upside was not good for my position there uh, on the Euro USD as I was short. And <clears throat> all that said, you know, the thing is, no matter how good you get at trading, how experienced you get, sometimes there are just some unexpected craziness that happens in the market. By the very nature of these things, they have a tendency to be uh, sometimes very unpredictable. And so although we had a pretty great entry and everything about this trade was uh, you know, pretty, pretty good in my opinion, it was just some unexpected, very, very reversing news that ultimately pushed that Euro USD uh, back down out of profit and into even a loss. So in hindsight, of course, I probably should have trailed my stop up to break even. But again, I can't really play that game because when I do that, what ends up happening is you just sort of go in circles with yourself. I should have done this. I would have done this. I could have traded this instead, right? And that's not actually super constructive. So <clears throat> I did take a loss. But fortunately, it was a very controlled loss. It wasn't a huge, massive disaster or anything like that. I'm out of the trade, and that's all good because next week is a new week. It is Friday, of course. Uh, and so with that said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap up the video. If you did enjoy these videos, I try and keep them as transparent as I can. I show you real trading, whether I mess up, do well, do bad, whatever happens, I share it here on YouTube. So if you enjoy these videos, hit that like button down below. Subscribe to the channel for more trading content just like this, and we will see you back in the next video. Thanks for watching today's show, you guys. Before we go, I do want to say, if you're a trader out there that uses MetaTrader 4, I wanna make you aware of some of the tools that we have available here at A1 Trading. My team and I, we've built some tools specifically for MetaTrader 4, things like trend scanners and dashboards that can help you find and create better trading setups uh, are available inside of our store. So if you're interested in any of those tools, there should be a link down below in the description, or you can head over to a1trading.com, check out things like our engulfing pattern scan 
scanner, our A1 trend scanner, which helps you find better setups and pullback setups in the market. Uh, we also have candlestick pattern scanner. So if you're any, if any of these tools are interesting to you, I definitely recommend checking out the software tools that we have available for MetaTrader 4, and you can find them on our website. So with that said, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.